Hey there, welcome back to another episode of our Gillers 1 playthrough of Nightfall, and we are still doing the Istan Island. I'm showcasing how a new player would experience uh, Guild Wars Nightfall, and I'm playing a Dervish, which I have basically, you if you watched the last episode, that's pretty much all the experience I have of this profession, so I'm pretty new to the Dervish. A lot of good comments and tips on the last video that I'm going to take into a consideration for today's video. Uh, but we are level 5. We got a primary quest to get a secondary training. Uh, and I th was thinking about getting going der uh, warrior. But if it's like pre-searing in uh, prophecies, I should get the opportunity to sh like try out some other, some other classes. Uh, some people some people mentioned in the uh, comments that going der go a secondary for dervish doesn't really matter doesn't really make sense because dervishes are so attributes uh what's the word reliant on the dervish attributes like you're you're a dervish so of course you're going size so that's one attribute you're gonna go mysticism because that's your that's your uh profession attribute pretty important because it reduces the cost of your enchantments and enchantments are very expensive that blue energy cost very expensive for dervish and then that leaves one extra one either earth prayer or wind prayers so basically if i want to go a secondary class i would need to go scythe mysticism and then something else oh uh, well we're gonna we're gonna test that out see if it's viable see if it's even worth to do that but as you see, most of the most of the um, enchantments come from either earth prayers or wind prayers, and the 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 dervish's whole thing is enchantments. So, not sure, not sure what we're gonna do. I was thinking going warrior because you get stances. Ranger also has some pretty good stances and running skills and stuff. Monk has some enchantments. Does does uh mysticism? Yeah, it only reduces the cost of dervish enchantments. Now, if that reduced the cost of all enchantments, that would be pretty incredible. Probably overpowered. Let's talk to this guy. I don't I don't want to do command training. Do I have to do command training? No. I just need to talk to one at least one non-dervish expert. So where are they? There's expert warrior. Let's talk to expert monk. Gives us healing touch. And this one gives us remove hex. Okay. Not very attractive, if I'm being honest. He hands me a starter rod like I'm gonna use that. Nope, going in the trash can. Let's talk to oh I, I could also I could always go paragon since uh it's the second new class of Nightfall. He gives us Signet of Synergy. Okay, this this does this has zero synergy with the dervish. If you are not under the effects of enchantment, you are also healed. I'm almost always gonna be under the effects of ench enchantment, so no thanks. Anthem of Flame. Now that's a pretty good one. The next attack skill used by each party member causes burning. And being a dervish, I do AoE attack. It would basically cause burning, AoE burning with my attack. So like if I use Pious Assault and I have Anthem of Flame on, they're all they're all getting set on fire. That's that's interesting. That's an interesting choice. Warrior. This is what I was looking for. Never already know. <laughs> I'm not using a sword, I'm using a scythe. Although, yeah, I'm not using a scythe. Or I'm not using anything other than a scythe. Mighty blow, it's a hammer. All right, they're not making it very attractive. Of course, I know there's plenty of other skills that are available, but we're gonna go ahead and talk to everyone and see if something jumps out at me. Uh, in the chat, Tar Heel recommended going Ranger and just using a pet. That that's an option, of course. Little, yeah. Your elemental attributes are boosted by two. Hmm. Yeah, elementalists have some pretty nice enchantments. 
But, as I said before, mysticism really only buffs my dervish enchantments. A ward, that could be useful. Because dervish don't, they're not as tanky because we're, use, we're not using a shield. But using wards might be good. Mesmer, I thought about Mesmer to get some uh, energy management. Like drain enchantment would be pretty nice, actually. Dervish Mesmer. Necromancer, I'm not really... Okay. This is the first time he's told me this. Strip enchantment, same idea of drain enchantment. Yeah, going blood magic as, in, as a dervish could be good. You get some energy or some health steal. Okay, so if I were to be ranking what I've... What I've just kind of brainstormed around who are we missing we're missing ranger and just i haven't talked to the ranger yet that's it uh just doing some brainstorming i think mesmer right now is a great choice necromancer is a pretty good choice and warrior those three are probably the best choices right now there's a more there's the ranger over there let's see what necromancer gives me here yeah, like this. Blood magic, life siphon. But 10 energy? And it's one casting time? Like, that's that's a lot of time wasted. Unless I start the battle with that. That's not a bad idea. Andre Phantasm, no. Yeah, it looks like we might... Oh, there's a third Mesmer. And the... Okay, there's a warrior monk and stuff over here, too. Imagine Burden... Mm. Sprint, yeah, so this this one skill is what I think is kind of worth it going warrior. I might go warrior just to run sprint. Just to run sprint. <laughs> Got it, okay. Um, and, and this is the same thing, storm chaser. So that's 10 energy, 20 recharge. For 8 seconds you move 25% faster and you gain 1 energy when you take elemental damage. This is not bad, because as we know, Dervish doesn't have many... I don't know if Dervish has any stances. So, it's got the movement speed bonus. And it has energy uh, management issues. And it, it gives you energy management. 20 recharge and the 10 energy cost. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But that's... Yeah, Ranger just jumped to the top of the top of the list here. And there's more rangers over there. Talk to Elementalist. Firestorm. Okay. They always have to showcase Firestorm. Because that's like such an iconic Elementalist spell. No. X. Banish. A, a Dervish Monk Smiter build might be okay. There's some decent like Monk Smite enchantments. Ooh, this is interesting. Wow, there's so many ranger trainers, no? Power shot, no. Wild throw. Yeah, we're not going spear. Oh, my inner my inventory's full. I keep picking up these starter weapons. I don't want any of these weapons. Need to get some bags and stuff. Okay. Um, ranger skills and charm animal, of course. So. Let's think about it. Necromancer. I would be using blood magic. 100%. Monk. I would be using smite. 100%. Warrior. I would be using stances like sprint. Ranger, I would either use stances or have a pet. So that gives me two options for Ranger. Um, Elementalist doesn't seem useful to me. Unless I run some like point blank area effect fire spells. But those are pretty, those can be kind of expensive. Oh man, this is a tough choice. 
let's go with let's go with ranger because i kind of like the idea of running storm storm chaser uh so how do i oh i just need to talk to so i talked to all of them so now i guess i select i select the ranger secondary after talking to this guy first spear devod yeah let's do it dervish ranger here we go might be fun collecting some pokemon i mean animals Go, and I'm gonna go with it's. I can't change it. Can't change it after this. I'm gonna go with Ranger. But but if you choose if you're Dervish and you choose the other the other professions for those reasons that I uh, that I mentioned. Wow, unlock the skill. I never had pinned down as lock. That shows how often I play Ranger on this account. Um, yeah, all of those reasons that I mentioned before are all viable options like a dervish a dervish necromancer might be kind of fun um but yeah try it out try out the skills see what you think um i'm gonna go ranger though and i'm gonna keep earth kind of kind of thematically go with like earth melon drew kind of theme so let's hold you let's get rid of the wind elementals and i'll drop down a charm animal and comfort let's just test and see how much that scales whenever i put into wilderness survival though so i put if you put six into wilderness survival that gives you it gives quite a bit of energy and that got a pretty long um duration honestly yeah i actually like that we're gonna use storm chaser And yeah, I don't have much. I don't have m many points. I'm only level five after all. Let's go ahead and bring Charm Animal just because I want to get a pet. Run around with a pet. Let him level up and stuff. Don't need that. I'm going to bring Comfort. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have enough points to put it. And it's pretty stretched thin. Some of you will be triggered five attributes are you insane i'm also level five so of course this is not going to be a viable long-term uh build but we're having fun level five don't worry about it uh okay what do we do next we need to talk to we need to do the next mission i'm gonna go ahead and pick up these quests as well because why not you get gold pretty quickly in how do I get... Oh, I need a chunk of drink. You get gold pretty quickly in um, Nightfall. I've already got a platinum. So this, this I mentioned last episode, the the consumables were added to Nightfall, and they give you some PVE bonuses. Like, this gives you an armor bonus. It's pretty cool. I don't think... I never made use of these low-level consumables, but if you have the... If you find the materials... You, you might as well you might as well pick them up add a little bit of of uh, options let's just look at the skills that we can get so i'm gonna go to type i'm on a limitation on my mesmer playthrough but in this one i can buy whatever i want mm, we're not using wind oh these are types let's do attribute that's better let's just look at the other stances really quick Beast Mastery. Where's Wilderness? Here we go. Traps are not really viable for us. Here's a this one's a pretty good stance. For one second, you run 33% faster and 50% blocking it. But then it ends if you become enchanted. So like it could be good for us, but typically I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using my enchantments before the battle starts, so yeah. It's weird. It's like Nightfall gives a lot of enchantment love and a lot of enchantment hate at the same time. Uh, where's my earth magic? Is it not alphabetical? Where's the earth? There we go. Aura of Thorns. All nearby enemies become ble have bleeding. 
It does nothing, but when it ends, they're crippled. That's pretty cool. Signet. Remove one enchantment. Target allies healed. So that's healing spell. Sand shards. The next two times you hit with it. That's an awesome. We're, we're picking that up right away. Staggering force. All nearby foes are struck for 18 earth damage. Your attacks deal earth damage. And in this instance, they have cracked armor. No. Sand shards will cover up. Yeah, only two times though. A 10 second recharge. I think that's probably better at higher levels. So we'll just hang on to it. Okay, let's do it. Wasting enough time. Primary quest. My uh, sound went out. There we go. Uh, we need to go down to Champion's Dawn. So I'm going to warp over to Sunspear Great Hall. Pick up a monk. Here we go. Boss, I guess I'll give you some new skills. I hate Final Thrust on you. Let's get... Um, where is the... For Great Justice. Staple. We need an attack speed bonus. Flurry. I'll use the Sever Artery Gash combo. And then we're good to go. It's a pretty nice one. So he's got some damage from power strike, power attack, before he has any adrenaline built up. Then as he gets adrenaline, he gets bleeding and then a spike. And then he's got the fast attack speed with and uh, quick adrenaline spammage. The deep wound is his main attack bonus. Is that good? Let's give him something stronger. Like, do I have Galrath Slash? That might be better. I do not. I do not have Galvarath Slash Unlock. <laughs> Power attack is good. Yeah, I don't have many adrenaline. I don't want to use a elite skill on him right now. I think that's a little overpowered. All right, we'll just do that for now. Should be okay. We're on our way to get the next hero. Or don't forget to talk to these guys. Sunspear Scouts, because they'll give you your bounty. Just, we need to constantly get our Sunspear rank up. Also, it gives us uh, exper uh, experience bonus. And then let's go ahead and cha charm a pet while we're out here. My Storm Chaser, level one, Wilderness Survival. I still have so many quests here. But we should be able to complete them naturally as we go. Yeah, I see my energy. Energy is a big problem for, for Dervish. The funny thing about Dervishes though, is that you actually want to be surrounded by enemies. You want to try and do as much damage as possible to these guys. And you want them, you want them clumped up like this. Like, look at that damage. I can see why that, those numbers could be addicting to players who prefer dervish i gotta say i'm warming up i'm warming up to the dervish once you get over the horrible armor uh the attack animations are probably one of the best of all of the attack anim animations in the game so that's got that going for it let's buff our mysticism there we go now it lasts 10 seconds that's that's uh admirable I don't really need to be using Vital Boon so often. Except for the fact that it gives me a enchantment to remove with Pious. That's the main reason I'm using it. Obviously, I don't really need that bonus health that much at this level. But having two enchantments to remove 
it makes my pie assault assault uh, much more spammable. It reduces the cooldown of it whenever an enchantment is removed. 75% faster. And and it does extra damage to enemies. Really great skill. So using enchantment, then pious assault. And then chilling victory. You get a lot of... You get a lot of uh, AOE bonus damage. The thing about having the bounty though is whenever you encounter enemies that are not on your bounty, it makes you just kind of want to skip them because it feels like it's not worth it. And it's kind of true. Once, once you experience that bounty doubly uh, XP, these regular XP enemies are just not very... Appetizing. Appealing. Now that I think about it, I think the Dervish Ranger was one of the best Drachnar Forge runners. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did anyone run to Drachnar's Forge as a Dervish Ranger? Okay, here we are. Champion's Dawn. This is the next mission area, I believe. Or maybe not. I thought it was. We still only have four henchmen available, or four uh, party available. Dunkoro, Cliffs of Dojok. Oh, we need to get Dunkoro first. Uh, I would love to give Cormier all the diggers she needs. Um, workers, meet Hamar at the edge of the Kare. Do it, my men. Okay. So we need to get Dunkoro, and then we should be in good shape to do the mission. I'm trying to remember how many missions are on Istan. I, I want to say three missions at least. One. Two. I think there's at least three missions here. There's that one. Chabek Village we already did. This Champions Dawn I think becomes a mission area. Or there's another mission area over here. I don't know. We'll we'll find out. You can't just run off without a plan. Let me help you. Yeah, that's the thing. Dunkoro is like a master strategist. Strategist. He's uh he's the strategist for the Sun Spears. Super genius. There's actually a mission later on where you follow Dunkoro's advice. And if you follow all of his advice advice correctly, you can get the bonus on the mission. Is this a separate mission? Is this a separate quest that I'm doing right now? Yeah, it is. That's okay. We can do it. 12 Ibogo Blossoms. But we are doing this first. If we kill some o Ibogas on the way, that's okay. Boss up here. Subway. I thought it was Subway the Greedy. <laughs> what do they got against Subway? Having some movement speed increase helps a little bit. They're using some, some, uh, what do you call it? Movement speed decrease on us. But yeah, that was a really strong one. I think I need to get rid of crippling. Uh, cri crippling sweep though because it's really only it's really good for only good for countering um, people running away and in PvE generally the enemies just kind of stay here like this of course these are all ranged enemies so it might change whenever you fight melee enemies but yeah so far crippling sweep not great it's cheap though 5 energy Guaranteed cripple on the hit, but the extra damage is not guaranteed. So not super reliable. Here's the Ibogas. Let's go ahead and fight them. And the enemies aren't grouping up as much as I'd like them to be. The 
positioning of the dervish is really important. Making sure you're in a position where you're going to be attacking multiple enemies. It looks like these, Ob these Iboga have guaranteed drops for this quest. I like when they do that. I don't like messing with RNG on these collecting quest missions. Okay, we need to fight these because they're on our bounty. The scale got a uh, upgraded upgraded um, skin my character model in Nightfall. They look pretty scary in this. Almost like frog demon like. They got little horns. They look amphibious. I'll just get wood for that. Boga, Lance. Really, I just want to be fighting Iboga and Scale. Because that's on my bounty and on our quests. Add there. Looking for exclamation. He's got an exclamation mark. Let's pick this this quest. Might speed some of this up because it's a lot of running around. We'll see. Master difficulty. All right. Yeah, I remember this quest. We'll, we'll, we're not going to do it now. Those master quests are really for uh, if you finish Istan and find yourself not quite level 20. Because the difficulty increase from Istan to Ilona is pretty massive. So if you rush through this and you're you find Elona to be way too difficult, you probably should go back and do some of these master quests. Two thousand experience is pretty that's pretty a lot. I think I might get rid of Heart of Holy Flame. I feel like it's not doing that much damage. I should replace that with my sands. Sands. Sand shards. Maybe. Talk to this guy. I bet you he's got his plant bounty. Yep, I knew it. And we'll get the blessing. Duena. No. Okay, Balthazar is not bad. Spear, blade. Warrior. Oh, Scythe. That's what we want. So our Scythe is level 8 now. All about that DPS, you know? Little Sun Spear encampment here. Purple die. Okay, we can get rid of this ugly hood. <laughs> I don't like the gray color hood. We need to dye that up real quick. Our name should be using red dyes. Red colors, though, unfortunately. <laughs> what is the color? Like, you know, each profession has a different color. Like, Mesmer's purple, Warrior's orange. Is the what is the dervish color? Is it like, is it blue? What is that color? Like ranger's green. The dervish colors are really. What is that? Very unique compared to the other professions. Like assassin and mesmer are kind of similar. Assassin's like pinkish purple. Mesmer's. Purple, purple. Monk is blue. Warrior, orange. Ranger and Necromancer are both green. But Dervish is like super unique. 
Is that taupe? Is that is that the name of that color? For some reason taupe just popped in my head. Comment down below. What color is this? The dervish the dervish profession color. Taupe. I think I'm right. I think I am correct. Is it? Yeah. Come um, help. Cormier. Yeah, this is it. So we need to. Did I finish that um scholarly affairs? No, I need three more ibogas. But I'll have to go around. We got three bounties now. We got harpers. Oh no! Yeah, harpies. Harpies. Plants and scale. I haven't found a single animal companion to uh, charm. That's very disappointing. No animals in Alona. Thought we would at least find a warthog or something. I want like a lion. That'd be a sweet animal companion. Actually, while I'm at it, I should get Casa Pet. He's doing fine. I think changing his skill bars gave him a big power spike. But we got some people helping us. Yeah, we're doing lots of damage now. I'm not using my skills in a optimal order. I need to make sure I have an enchantment on at all times when I use Pious Assault. Okay, these guys are grouped together. Yeah, Dervish is pretty fun. I like the fact that I can just, you know, do these sweeping attacks and just clear out the enemies. one group there's three more groups oh no two of five groups remaining so there's two more groups left is that what that means heck yeah the thing about chilling victory though is you need to make sure that their health is lower than yours so it it could be a little bit difficult to figure that out because they don't give you numbers so vital boon actually helps with that if you have vital boon on there's a higher chance that you'll have be uh be able to proc the chilling victory extra damage so vital boon is not just is not just for healing Vital Boon is a really good synergy for Chilling Victory, I guess. Dervish like to have a lot of health. Because... They don't have shields. That's... Le at level 6? Doing 40 damage like that? It's pretty good. All right, completed. See Digmaster Gata for your reward. Yeah, and th there's two there's two encampment or or two outposts. Actually, I don't think that one's an outpost, but this one definitely is. I think Joe Joe Canner Joe Connor Joe Canar. <laughs> Just get the name totally wrong. Joe Canner Diggings is the next mission, I believe. Just run there real quick. Level 6, are we strong enough? And I think this mission is another 4 party member mission area. And then I'll be able to use Dunkoro, so I'll drop Kim. And then I might switch up 
and get that motivation henchman or elementalist henchman perhaps the grub lance is the monk so you want to take him out first you know Koss. Koss is just stuck there look he's not attacking anyone I knew that he wasn't attacking anyone because he should be attacking the same guy I am, but he's stuck on the map area and body blocked by the... <laughs> he's body blocked by the enemies. That's quite annoying. Now he's attacking. Come on, Koss. Get it together. Almost there. Let's run over there. Said I was gonna run there, but I ended up fighting on the way there. How are we? We are at second spear rank. Nice. But we need to get first spear. After this, I will get first spear. So second spear, then first spear. So I need 300 promotion points. Do you get Sun Spear promotion points for completing missions? I didn't pay attention to the last, to the first mission. I think you get experience and gold. I don't think you get Sun Spear points for it. Here we are. Let's get rid of this monk. And we should get a new hero. Dunkoro joins a, uh, joins a party. Cormier mentioned the la that several Kernan and Vabian dignitaries arrived. She needs you and Dunkoro to keep them happy while they're here. I have the orders here somewhere. Da 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 da. Here we go. Dunkoro is an experienced Istani Sunspear, the veteran of campaigns against Corsairs, Centaurs, Desert Raiders, and Inhuman tribes. His experience is not dimmed in his dedication. Uh, it has simply made him aware of the importance of planning. Good job. See, here's another thing. Once you reach rank of first peer or the... Okay, that's good. They give you two op They give you two options of your speed bump here. You can either get first spear or level 12, whichever one comes first. I like that. If you're going to put in a kind of speed bump into your game, you know, give the player options so this this kind of shows the two different play styles but of course if you're getting sun spear that means you're getting experience they should be happening around the same time possibly seems like you would be able to get some first spear before level 12 though All right who are we talking to now let me let me sell some stuff I'm not really concerned with with um, crafting stuff. Although that's way better than the hood we we're using. That's 40. The armor. This armor is way better. Maybe I should get a salvage kit actually. <laughs> yeah. I'll start salvaging stuff. Is there a material trader? I've got a lot of gold. Yeah, these are cheap. Let's get some armor real quick. Um, I want the scythe. Let's do the sun spear hood this time. What looks cooler? The Istani robes is what we're using. Let's use the sun spear robes. Oh, we just died it too. Dang. 
Yeah, not a big improvement. See, I, I'm not a fan of the Dervish armor. Interesting thing about Dervish armor is it gives you some base health on its chest piece. I don't I don't know about the other class if they do that or not. Do they? All right, we're losing our red color. Let's get some leggings. Yeah. This armor bonus is going to be massive. From 25 armor to 40 armor. Pretty crazy. Got it all? Yes. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I hate the dervish armor. The spikes are cool, I guess. There's some cool decorations, but it's like, I still, I, I just, I'm just wearing a big, I'm wearing a big blanket. You, you make all this effort to make your character look cool, and he just looks like he's cosplaying as a ghost. Anyway, let's do the next one. Gain rank of, oh, I can't do the first mission. Interesting. All right. Um, I might just do some bounties really quick and um, uh, yeah, I'll probably just do some bounties and get up to first beer before I uh, continue with this video. There are plenty of quests to do, so I could be doing some of these. Like I need three more of that. You get 10 points per quest, per quest though. Five points per quest. But of course, while you're doing these quests, you're expected to be fighting and collecting bounties. So killing two birds with one stone kind of thing, but... Yeah, it's just a lot. Just a lot to do. Anyway, this is our part two of our Nightfall playthrough. We were able to get... We were able to get uh, our secondary. We went with the Dervish Ranger. Next episode, we're going to be doing some quests and hopefully getting to uh, our second, our first spear rank so we can do the next mission. Anyway, I'm going to stop the, this is a good stopping spot of the video. Stay tuned till next time. Again, we'll be coming back to my Mesmer and continuing with our main playthrough. This is just a little bit of a side series. Role playing as a brand new Nightfall player uh what would the experience be like etc etc and also i'm learning a lot about the dervish which i i'm starting to like it i'm starting to like the dervish a little bit so stay tuned for the next episode thank you everyone bye